Sup nerds, I am Jeebus Platinum, and today I want to talk about how to go flawless in Modern Warfare 3. Now this is not an easy thing to do, but I think it should be everyone's goal. Now the hard thing about this is that this game hates you. It absolutely hates you. It wants you to die. It knows that there are worse players than you out there, and it's going to try and give them every advantage possible so they can kill you. Don't ask me why. Actually, I know why. It's about money. But here's the thing. You're going to need a good class if you want to go flawless more and die less. So grab a gun. I would grab your favorite gun, honestly, because that makes sense, right? If it's your favorite, use it more often. Get a gun that you're comfortable with, that has good range, good power, and throw a silencer on it. Now, you don't have to. Most of this advice is going to be pretty touch and go. So if you want it, you do it. If not, no sweat, man. Do what you do. Um, hopefully some of this advice, though, will help you out. So grab a good gun. I start with the MP7 silenced. I like getting in people's bases, and I like killing people's dudes. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to have to play litter bug with these guns, pick up a lot of different guns, because I don't have scavenger. I'm running uh, sleight of hand, and I've also got quick draw. So you're going to want to make sure that you have the right perks set up for you, and know that if you don't have scavenger, you're going to ha have to be grabbing guns. So people that you kill, you're going to be aware of what gun they had, and how you can get to it without putting yourself in danger. Now the next thing is obviously streaks. I'm about to go into my reaper. I have predator, attack chopper, and reaper. And when I say flawless games, I can go 3-0. and Easy. I can camp and go 12-0. and Easy. What I'm talking about is 20-0, and 25-0, and 30-0, and okay? Those are the kind of games that are going to make you stand out as a player. Those are the kind of games that make you feel good about yourself. And those are the kind of games that embarrass the crap out of the other team. So that's what we're shooting for here. So I go with Predator, Attack Chopper, and Reaper, the Platinum Package, because I want to rack up those kills. Now if I die, it's going to happen. It happens on occasion, okay? You're going to have to be ready for it. But you can still get a lot of flawless games out of your game time, okay? Now here's the thing with your kill streaks: If you're going to use the Predator and the Reaper, you need to find a good place to hide, okay? The Reaper, you're going to be in it for 15 to 30 seconds, and you want to make sure that the spot you're in is not going to give you away. Because you can work so hard, you can be on point and beat everybody that you encounter, but that half of a minute while you're in your Reaper, if somebody finds you, they're not going to earn that kill, aside from the fact that they looked in the silly spot. So make sure you're hidden well. If you can, hide where your team is and hide where you think your team will be. Speaking of being on point, you have to be. I don't know if you just saw that. That was dirty. Peekaboo, buddy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So here's the thing, you need to be on point every single second of every game that you want to go flawless in. Now if you just play for fun and you're like, I don't care about dying Jeebus, it doesn't matter to me, it's going to happen, then cool. Hopefully this is going to give you some tips and pointers just to help you have more fun. But if you do want to go flawless, if you're trying to be a professional gamer, if you just like being a baller and you like saying to your friends, hey I went this many kills and zero deaths and they're like super impressed and they're like, you're such a cool person, we totes want to hang out with you more then do it man hopefully this helps you out so there i was actually listening to my ears making sure i didn't hear anybody because it sounded like somebody was outside dead silence is a really good perk i don't use it but i know that it has a lot of value for a lot of players so if that's what you need it's going to give you that silence it's also going to allow you to hear people better if that's what you want roll with it you know what i'm saying another thing that's super important for going flawless is going to be your movement you have to move well and it really really helps to know the maps and to know the spawns i'm going to tell you right now Camping is weak. If you camp, yes, maybe you can get some good games. Yes, maybe you can go flawless. But are you good at this game? No, you are not. You sit in a corner and you surprise people, okay? What you need to do is move well. I move all over this map. I'm pretty sure I go to every location on this map except for that er middle area. And one thing you want to know too on whatever map you're playing is the areas that are rough, okay? I got my second Reaper now. I'm going hard and it's just about movement. Know where they are, know where to hide, know where they're going to be, and then beat people. I don't know what sensitivity you play on. You may need to adjust it. Accuracy is a big, big thing. Because if you're getting beat by people that are directly in front of you and it's like he sees you, you see him, he wins, that's something I cannot help you fix. You're going to have to do that on your own. Maybe try different guns. Maybe try drop shotting. Maybe try uh, different sensitivity. You know, whatever's going to help you do better. Okay? Now, you don't want to be predictable as well. Camping is going to be pretty predictable, and eventually someone's going to see for you or get a rocket in there or something. They're going to flash you. You need to move, but you need to move in an unpredictable fashion. Now, it's really hard with the spawns as erratic as they are in this game, but you can do it. Trust me, I believe in you, and I'm doing it right here. This game is really baller. So here's the thing, guys. Get a good gun. 
get going, move well, don't stop moving. You need to keep going. Now, is it going to be a challenge sometimes? Yes. People are going to be in weird spots. People are going to camp. You're going to have to overcome that. We know we're not going to go flawless every time, but I'm telling you, you can do it. You can do it a lot more than you are. You just got to be on point non-stop. You let your guard down, you're going to die. It's going to happen. Now, obviously, there are going to be times when people spawn behind you, and there's nothing you can do about it, all right? So this game pretty much is over. This was a beast game. I got the game-winning kill cam. Using your UAV is going to be a huge help. If it's up, know where it is. I pre-fired this guy because I knew where he was, and I took him down, closed out the game with my flawless victory. My team destroyed everybody, and I'm the man. I went 34-0. You guys stay classy.